hands up. Nah. Okay, bye bye. <sighs> Obsessed with bed. I love bed. Obsessed with pillows, blankets, and such. <sighs> Literally, I love sleeping. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Uh, video. I forgot about that. Do you know what I want in life? A giant kitchen with lots of natural light, every utensil and appliance imaginable, and an endless supply of groceries. And also some sweet potato fries. In Japanese, they don't say moon, they say suki, which literally translates to moon. And I think that's how language works. <laughs> I get what they're making fun of. Literally, what is the logic behind naps leaving you with a weird taste in your mouth? I wasn't eating anything when I was asleep. It's the spiders, isn't it? This is my favorite clickbait about hackers picture. Ah, me when I remember my password in my own mind. How do you draw good? Fail 14 sketchbook. Bad stuff is good stuff because you make stuff. Do you like sparkle? Draw sparkle. Draw and make your heart do smiley emote. Remember to drink lots of agua or else bedtime. Don't stress, friend, all is well. Your art is hot like potato crisps. Don't let anyone piss on your good mood, amigo. If they do, eat them. Okay. I think the reason I enjoy Ghibli so much is it romanticizes the little things. It makes me want to bake, study, clean the house, garden, and more while listening to happy music and occasionally picking wildflowers and lying in the grass. It helps me find joy in day-to-day -day life, and honestly, so important for my mental health. Hayao Miyazaki has said on numerous occasions that he wants children to know that even when the world seems harsh and life is hard, it is always still worth living. And there's always something beautiful in it. That mental health boost is intentional, and Miyazaki wants you to believe that you should continue to live, even if it's just for those little things. That's beautiful. Meanwhile, there's another Miyazaki who kind of tries to do the same message, but um, you get a lot of this. Andy put up a lot of segments of you died sequences in Dark Souls. Do it. You bastard! Ah. Uh... No! <laughs> Fucking crap, really! I know approximately zero about Deltarune, but based on the memes I keep seeing, the crocodile one should stop letting the blue one use the GPS. I have no idea what's happening. At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Nothing like stepping outside while the seasons are changing and suddenly feeling a change in the weather that knocks you back in time by several years. I'm sorry, Professor, I'm gonna have to miss class today because when I walked outside this morning, it was cold and sunny in a very specific way, and suddenly I was struck with a nostalgia for years past so vivid and potent that I had to sit down. Understandable. Have a nice day. Mmm. Honey as a tea sweetener is so superior to sugar. The nectar of the gods and whatnot. When you add honey to tea, it's an ancient civilization's moment. When you add sugar cube to tea, it's a British dude with a white curly wig moment. Does anyone else get what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't have a clue. Andy, do you follow this one? When you lift your napkin up to dab. Remember when Colgate sent out cease and desist letters to 13 year old kids because they were making YouTube poops with one very specific video about a rabbit who teaches children how to keep their teeth clean? Remember when Walrus Guy actually got a lawyer and took it to court and got it proven in a court of law that it was completely legal to make YouTube poops of Dr. Rabbit? He did what? And people say YouTube poop isn't a legitimate art form. Boggle. Told my friend that I hope this burrito was good, whatever that means, because I don't like burritos, and he told me, A good burrito should feel like a mistake. And I feel like that is way more fucking raw than it has any right to be. And of course his name is Josh, too. If I was a video game NPC, I'd be called something like Weird Looking Guy or Unfortunate Beast. And I'd be so hot and lovable, and everyone would want me. I oh, yeah, sure do love this feudal era Pokemon game with the wood latch Pokeballs, steamboats, ancient scrolls, and smartphones. Also, in before somebody says, um, actually, it's the Meiji Restoration. I get it. I'm really into internet discourse, but only pointless and stupid internet discourse, like how many holes there are in a straw. 
It's two. Um, no, it's an infinite amount of holes stacked on top of each other. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> what do you call the security guards outside Samson shops? <sighs> what? Guardians of the Galaxy. Get out. Wow, you blocked me just because I disagreed with you? Yes. Yes, exactly. This is a social media site. I come here to look at pictures of birds and shit posts with my friends. This is not a town hall meeting. I'm not your elected official. I do not owe you my energy, my space, or my time. You and I are strangers that use the same website. I can block you for literally any reason, and that's okay. Take a deep breath. Block me too. You'll feel better. Do it. You may think this song sounds bad, but according to music theory, which I've spent 18 years studying at, shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I know noises, idiot. I don't have to study to understand noises. I've known them forever. And those noises right there, not that good. When did we first discover the concept of glasses? Like, was an Egyptian pharaoh walking around in his jewel room and put two crystals to his eye and was like, Yo, Nithotep, come look at this! I love Queen because half their songs are mind-blowing pieces about life and death and love and humanity's inability to live together without destroying ourselves. And the other half are like, I love my bike. Actually, there's a third kind, and it's called I'm Freddie Mercury, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, that sounds about right. I was out with a bunch of people this weekend, and this guy suddenly went, oh, man, I miss my wife, and went home. Like, I want that. I hope you like repairmen with digestive problems. I'll test the toilet now. I don't, and you shall not. So there was a lizard in my shower, so I said hello to it, and the person showering next to me was like, Hi? I wasn't sure whether to carry on the conversation, or be like, sorry, I was talking to a lizard. It should be my birthday every day. You would be very old. Oh, what a rude thing to say to someone on their birthday. Believe the audacity of this man? Y'all ever sleep from 1700 to 2200 and call it a nap because... I thought this was about years, but yes. Ah, nothing says self-care like a 500-year-long nap. Sounds good right now, actually. Thoughts on? Nah, that's off. Just how I like it. I just saw someone come into shoppers and ask if they sold serotonin, and if that isn't the biggest mood, I don't know what is. He was an older guy, so he probably didn't know what serotonin was. Still a mood, though. Do it. I checked this blog to see what other suggestions there were, and there were none. And now that I look at it closely, the URL does say suggestion, singular. So I don't know what I expected. Guys, quick, let's go set up a spirit Halloween in the empty Facebook. If Tun... Tunblr... Tunblr? Tunblr... ever goes down, I will just write my post down and mail them to all of my mutuals. Yeah, if Tumblr ever does die, you can just do that for me, guys. The crunch... Of a folded kettle cooked chip. That does sound mildly pleasant. Andy, give them what they want. Just watch me. Pat, I'll write Tumblr posts with my right hand and post memes with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat. <laughs> Love the adrenaline rush of making plans and following through on them. I said I was gonna go to the mall today, and here I am. Who knows what I'll do next? Infinite possibilities! Is this what people without executive dysfunction feel like? The weather is a little bit gloomy. Me and the mutuals chanting, Soup, 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 soup! Andy, join me on that. My old man once said to me, Your thoughts are so random and unconnected. We were just talking about the carnival. How did you get started on wasps? So I told them, they're not unconnected. We were talking about going to the carnival, and the carnival is on the same fairgrounds they used to use for the rodeo. And one time at the rodeo, my brother spilled Sprite on himself, and a bee went up his shirt and stung him. And bees die when they sting, but wasps don't. And I was wondering why. So I asked you. And he said, that makes no sense. And for the life of me, I can't understand how anyone thinks of anything if not by this exact process. Oh, God. It's not just me. These are the four types of non-binary people. Oh yes, neutral gender, neutral presentation, feminine gender, masculine presentation, masculine gender, feminine presentation, and Lancer. Here's the thing. We all agree that Jack Black is an amazing fit for Bowser. 
Charlie Day has voice acted before in the Lego movie as a very well-received and distinct character, so he could probably do well as Luigi. Peach's voice, not to insult Samantha Kelly, is incredibly generic, so Anya Taylor-Joy can probably nail it. You're fooling yourself if you think Keegan-Michael Key can't do a great Toad voice. Hell, even Seth Rogen, as washed up and exhausting as he is, can probably do a sufficient enough voice for Donkey Kong. It's literally just Chris Pratt. And nobody has any faith in his voice acting abilities because literally every character he plays since 2014 has been Chris Pratt but X. Even in the Lego movie, his character was a generic milk toast dude made out of Lego, AKA Chris Pratt but Lego. Chris Pratt is the original Sonic movie design of the Mario film in that he will single handedly drag the film down to hell. And the only way to save it is to completely excise him from the movie. There, I just saved you 14 fucking video essays on why the Super Mario movie might go down badly. All right! Yes, I know I'm a hypocrite because I use Apple and Google products and they're spying on me completely anyways, but there's something about Alexa that viscerally disgusts me and feels like a bridge too far. And I'll tell you why. She has a normal ass name. I don't know many people named Siri. I don't know anybody who would name their child Google. I know four Alexas. So, that's probably why. If there's a heaven's no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Mmm, perhaps. When will Ted himself finally show up to the talk? The final boss. You guys know TED Talk stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design Talks, right? I will not let Ted hide behind these lies any longer. Reveal himself to me! I just came up with a horrible drawing game. First artist draws a human OC. Second artist draws that OC's persona. Third artist draws a humanized version of that persona without seeing the original OC. Fourth artist draws a persona for that character. And so on and so forth. Also known as telephone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Auntie, I know what we need to do for next Gartic phone game. Today I learned that the count in Sesame Street does not count all the time to teach children numbers. In folklore, vampires have erythromania, or an obsession with numbers. This derives from the old superstition that throwing poppy seeds on the ground stopped vampires because they had to count them all. First. I like the poster's implications that the producers of Sesame Street did not put a counting vampiric count on a children's educational series to teach kids how to count. This was just an incidental side effect of their fidelity to obscure vampire folklore. I mean, it could be. Homies, is it gay to turn on notifications for your mutuals? How weird is it that I have two pieces of glass sitting in front of my eyeball so I don't mistake a small child for a garbage can? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, there's Christmas adverts already? Get spooky or get the fuck out! It's Halloween! I don't know what Batman villain needs to hear this, but your theme is unique and creative. Your puns and gimmicks are witty, your costume is cool and fashionable, and you do have a chance at defeating the Batman. You are valued and an important Gotham citizen. Mwah! I love you. A guy walks in with two puncture wounds on his neck and like, you should see the other guy. And then a vampire walks in covered in those cartoony lipstick kiss marks. Oh. Someone, wow, you're so easy to talk to. I feel like our personalities fit so well together. Me. Thanks. I made this one special just for you. Running up the hill to make a deal with God again. Anyone need anything? Radio is kind of wild, really. The first thing we did after discovering an ethereal field that permeates the universe is <laughs> infuse it with music. That's pretty on brand for humans, really. Our social media is down again, except for Tumblr. A cockroach will survive a nuclear bomb. Just saying. If she's your girl, why is she tormenting me with visions? If she's your girl, can you ask her to stop, please? I love being sober and talking to drunk people at parties, because I asked a guy, if you were a wizard, what kind of spells would you cast? And I know he wasn't lying when he said, Summon creatures. What kind of creatures? Oh. I wish they had made Breaking Bad earlier, so it would have had a PS2 game. Jesse, you need to press square, square, X, triangle, circle, X to cook the meth. This is a Parappa the Rapper game? Cut the meth. Don't forget the bag. Cut the meth. Don't forget the bag. 
Liking The Office is not a personality trait, but saying liking The Office is not a personality trait is also not a personality trait. What is a personality trait? Eating sponges! It's like, that's his truck and he's ordering from a drive-thru at 12 a.m. Mmm, chicken sandwich and scratch my butt, please. <laughs> not to scare anyone, but what the hell does Beyond and Bed Bath and Beyond stand for? Me. What's Beyond? Employee snaps my neck. Go find out. As a former Bed Bath & Beyond employee, I appreciate this. Yeah, what the hell and fuck are you implying, lady? See you and I? We're like SpongeBob and Patrice. Gay. That's his snail. Lefties on ketamine, right toids on ivermectin. Who knows how many more drugs Big Horse is hiding from us? I don't know what drugs, but I have a hunch. Big Horse is hiding something. Maybe soldiers? Maybe Greek soldiers? I don't know. Just a thought. The fuck are you on about? There's nothing inside of that horse. Let's bring it inside the city walls. It's perfectly fine. Gonna say something controversial? And it's that carrot cake is fucking delicious and probably the best cake flavor. Can I get a hallelujah? It is fucking critical that Gen Z kids rediscover the idea of posers. Posers and sellouts. And this isn't about children being fake fans or whatever. This is about influencers trying to grab at your money through pretending to be part of a subculture. Yeah. Have any of you ever seen, like, a third grader? I can't believe they make people that small. Oh, 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 oh. Just wait till you see the next size down. Yes, that's right. There's people smaller than third graders. It's insane. My favorite tease is, okay, noun boy. It's just so good. Okay, noun boy. <laughs> you know... Horses are very talented at making their problems your problems. It's true. I think Netflix had a show about it. I think it was called Bojangles Horse My Dudes. Hey, did you know gallbladders are really cool? Yeah, I took my dates. I mean, he got it removed at the hospital. Sure he did. The worst is when you're reading a really good book that follows multiple character stories and you love it 90% of the time until it periodically switches back to that one character story that you could not just care less about. And it's like an entire chapter of internal groaning while waiting for the plot to switch back to a character you actually care about. Yeah. Oh yes, my favorite Deltarune character. I am also a fan of Meat Substitute Weight. It's been a long day. Alfred, please fill up the bathtub. Master Bruce, what's a hatub? This is so unfunny that I actually laughed. Good job. Hey, keep your head up, fellow wizard. It's incantation, not incantation. Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait. Honestly, Frodo's journey is so wild. Like... Imagine your uncle goes missing after his birthday party, and his old stoner friend from out of town tells you that the souvenir he brought back from Vegas trip 80 years ago is actually Satan's mood ring, and now zombie assassins are coming to burn down your town unless you and your lawn guy meet up with medieval hosiers at a dark gastropub? You know, when you phrase it like that, it sounds like a Seth Rogen movie, and I just don't know how I feel about that. Are you a fab or a mab? I am a crab. Crab, 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 crab. Seems like you could just write essays on a lot of things today, Pucky. I could write a book about words I like and go into excruciating detail as to why I like each word. I'd call it word review and I'd give each word an entire page or more on a numbered score. That's this beautiful, man. I am a reverse hypochondriac. I just ignore everything. One time as a teen, I went blind for two minutes in public and I said nothing. Dudes, teach me. My aesthetic is students at the library who have all their study materials out, but are blatantly not studying. Bussers are creatures. They don't eat you because they love you. But they could, if they wanted to. Oh. <sighs> Mario is going to do the regular Mario. Here we go! Exactly once at the start of the movie before coughing violently and then apologizing in Chris Pratt's voice. <laughs> Why? 
Now, I didn't feel like there were enough posts for today's video, so I'm gonna do what I did probably a couple of videos back. I'm gonna just make noises. Andy, you do what you do best, you beautiful boy. <laughs> it's always poor little meow meow or evil bastard or I can make him worse. What about men who are normal? What about men who pay taxes and are well-adjusted individuals and not at all insane? Okay, Tumblr, you're in prison, Hannibal. You clearly enjoy only the most hinged of men. I don't know if I can defend myself against this one. Picks that make you go, hmm. Hmm. Andy, what do you think? Did it hurt when the little people inside your head refused to follow your carefully plotted novel outline? Extremely. Go do the thing! A piece from Surplus Tension by Hannah Levy. Sentinels attached to entire bird legs, which could make getting around either really easy or really hard. I'm not sure. If I'm funny enough to end up in a PM Seymour VA video, then that means I'm worth something in life. All right, I'm going to stop you right there. Hold on. All right, Andy, just put, put the image away for a second. Let me talk to him. Tool Jester, and to everyone listening to this right now, you are all worth something. In fact, you all have so much value to yourselves and to people around you who love you. And you might sit here and think, there's nobody out here who could possibly love me, because I can already imagine somebody writing that comment right now just to be the outlier. Listen, you have value, you are loved, and you are important to somebody. Okay? Okay. Let's move on. It's touching moment. You know, a nap and a Snickers bar would have solved all of Anakin's problems, but instead, he chucked five Monster Energy drinks, blocked Obi-Wan's number, and let himself be bamboozled by the dark side. Well, if you did that, we wouldn't have gotten four, five, and six now, would we? I just woke up and, yeah, this isn't a morning app. I can't even read what you people are saying. Yeah, girl, did you get Swiss product appendages? See what I'm talking about? I think it's the universal truth that everyone in our generation takes Pluto's losing its planetary status as a personal offense. Yes! Pluto is smaller than Russia. Why did we ever even consider it a planet? Because it's part of our solar system! Ohana means family! Family means no one is left behind! Honey, I'm pregnant. Hello, pregnant. He whispers, tears of joys in his eyes. <sighs> I'm dad. How could something be so cute and make me want to vigorously bang my head against a wall at the same time? <laughs> oh my god. My friend asked me how I learned to cook, and the answer is, I didn't. I know like five things about cooking, and they are, always use more garlic than the recipe calls for, eh, fuck it close enough is a great measurement tool, find like five recipes that you like, adjust them how you like them, and make them until you hate them, clean as you go, and if a recipe is from a mommy blog, you will need more spices. If anyone wants to add, please do. None of these are wrong. I spent four years in college on this subject, and you know what? You're absolutely right. Why did I spend so much money? You can't play a plus two on a plus two. Thank you for the cards, but we'll take it from here. The only rules of Uno are what you can convince the rest of the tables the rules are. Is the world really such a terrible place? Yesterday, I asked if oat milk was extra, and the barista said yes. So I said, okay, just regular milk then. And when she gave me my chai latte, she whispered, I used oat milk. Doesn't that make you want to live another day? Here's my life philosophy. Next week, there might be someone ahead of you in line at the store who's short a quarter. And you have a quarter. And you can give it to them. If you weren't there, they'd have something to put back. The week after that, you could be getting lunch, and the waiter might ask if you want some pancakes someone else ordered and never picked up. You could find someone's lost cat. You could watch someone's bag while they go to the restroom. There are so many ways you're going to touch other people's lives, and they're going to touch yours, and there's no way to know when it's going to happen. So you have to keep living! I wouldn't want to die knowing that tomorrow the barista will give me free oat milk just to be nice. 
Isn't that just fucking beautiful? You know, when you see a good post, you can say, hee-hoo! When you see a post is bad, the post is wow-woo. Wow-woo. Shut the fuck up.